Liofilization, also known as the process of freeze drying, involves freezing a product in a solution, placing it under a vacuum, then removing the ice through sublimation. A product like strawberries. Once liophilized, the liophilized product retains characteristics that are similar to the original product. So how did the process of liophilization evolve? Attempting to preserve potatoes, South Americans who lived in the Andes from 1250 to 850 BC were the first to attempt liophilization. It took a few thousand years until the French scientist Arsène d'Arsonval invented a method to remove water at a low temperature for distillation, in essence formally discovering lyophilization. The first commercial application of lyophilization occurred during World War II, in which blood plasma and penicillin that had been rendered chemically stable and viable at room temperature were distributed. In the same period, the first production of lyophilized coffee led to the development of food products, such as freeze-dried ice cream for the Apollo missions, meals ready to eat, MREs for the military, and freeze-dried meals for backpacking. In the 1990s, lyophilization as a manufacturing process was incorporated into the pharmaceutical and biotechnology market for drug and vaccine development. From frozen potatoes to vaccines, the evolution of lyophilization reveals some common traits. The lyophilization process allows the preservation of biological material while retaining their characteristics. Some additional benefits of lyophilization are storage at room temperature and convenient transport. Today, emerging trends in the lyophilization space include the development of point-of-care testing, utilizing nucleic acid-based molecular assay in a cartridge with lyophilized reagents. However, there are challenges in the development of lyophilized molecular assays. These molecular assays contain TAC DNA polymerase, which is commercially available as a standalone enzyme in buffer containing 40 to 70 percent glycerol by weight. Unfortunately, glycerol serves as a cryoprotectant, which is incompatible with lyophilization, even at a minute concentration of 0.5 percent. Thermo Fisher Scientific has overcome this challenge with the introduction of lyoready DNA polymerases and reverse transcriptases, which are compatible with lyophilized molecular assay containing a formulation with less than 0.5 percent glycerol. Lyoready enzymes retain all the inherent characteristics of enzyme preparation with glycerol, resulting in comparable performance as tested in an RT-QPCR assay. In addition, the performance of lyoready enzymes remains unaffected when subjected to harsh shipping and storage conditions. These high-performing lyoready enzymes enable flexibility in the development of lyophilized molecular assays, delivering more accurate and sensitive results faster for molecular diagnostics tests. To learn more about Thermo Fisher Scientific lyoready PCR enzymes and reverse transcriptases, go to thermofisher.com forward slash lyoready.